There you go. I gotta sell people out, so. <laughs> ah, man. What's going on y'all man? If you just seen the beginning of the video, you see I was giving blood. Alive. What's going on, y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all tuned in. Uh, y'all seen the beginning video? I was giving blood. The reason I was giving blood was for uh, help for research for the Zika virus, which is you know it's that shit from mosquitoes came from Brazil. Pretty much affects the uh, fetus of pregnant women. That's as much as I know right now. Uh, not sure if it affects anything else in males or in females. So, I just want to do my part, you know. Uh, try to do something to help people out in the future. Help the research get blood. Still got the bandage on. But, I'm going to show you. I still got the bandage on. Fucking arm is still. It's like tender right here, man. It's very tender. Like. They told me don't do any strenuous activity for the rest of the day. Uh, no tobacco products in 30 minutes after I got my blood drawn. I don't do tobacco, I do vape, so you know. But I still wouldn't. I didn't vape. Even since then, I'll probably do it later when I go on break. But uh my experience with Given the blood though was, well first of all the guy that did it, he couldn't do it in my right arm because they couldn't find a vein. So they tried my left arm and we got it, it wasn't a lot, enough blood wasn't coming out so he moved it and that shit kind of hurt, you know? I kind of got a hot flash, I was like fuck, like you know? So he moved it, it started going, but then like it was dripping slow, like it looked like it was going fast but I guess after it came out initially. It started draining slow and shit, you know? I was really there for like 20 minutes. It's only supposed to take like 6 minutes to fill the bag, which was probably like the size of my hand. Probably gets about this big, like wide. So I think of like something like pretty much the size of my hand, length and width, and then it goes this high. So it took a while. Um, I actually, uh, they stopped me towards the end of it. They said I had like a blood clog or something. I don't know. Like, it is my blood is clogged up. I don't know what the fuck. That's what they said. He said it's not bad, but I don't know. 
And uh, I couldn't see, but he said you can see like he saw like his sergeant, cause it's army, you know. So saw the sergeant like, yes, yeah, it's like turning purple, like right there, like a little purple ball. So it says it's clouded. So they took it out. So they took the needle out. They like put the gauze on there, not this one, but another one, like you know the white shit or whatever. Put the, the uh, that shit on there. As soon as he put the needle out, he put it on there, the fucking shit filled with blood. I was like, oh shit. Like the feeling of it was, I felt like it was like warm milk coming out of my fucking arm or something. Like this shit was crazy. Even when they were draining blood on my arm, my hands started to go like numb a little bit and shit. I was like, what the fuck? You know, it was weird. So, yeah. Oh, also, they had to check me for something else to see if my, uh, if my blood pressure was at the right level and all this other kind of shit. And they pricked my finger, which I thought was gonna hurt. Like a little needle thing. It was like in a cap, and then they just like put it on the, that's bad. It was like in a cap, and they put it on your finger, and it's like, it covers it. It looked like a, like a fucking marker cap. It was like, that's it, and then like a little blood came out. So, you like tested the blood and shit. So, yeah, but, everything went, all right other than my arm being a little not my arm but just that particular spot where i got uh fucking they pricked me it's like a little tender and shit so can't even ask me if i have some shit but anyway uh yeah hopefully they find a cure for the zika virus shit man because it's transmitted by mosquitoes it probably could be like, if you get it, it probably could be transferred through blood. If you like swap blood or use needles and shit, if you have it. Just like AIDS, you know, same way you get that. But it's just like, that's just crazy, bro. That's just real crazy. So everybody be safe out there, man. Stay away, stay away from them damn mosquitoes. That's why I always have my off on and shit. I don't fuck with mosquitoes, boy. Before this shit and after this shit. Fuck that. So, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm just working on this truck. Only thing that was wrong with it, I have to put a uh, a new clamp hose clamp for it for the one of the radiator hoses because it was leaking. Pretty much fixed it. Just waiting for it to get the operational temperature. So, because when it gets to a, when it gets high enough, you don't know about thermostats. When it gets high enough, the thermostat opens and lets the fucking coolant flow through. It's not antifreeze because it's a different kind of vehicle. In our cars, we call it antifreeze, but in this trucks, these diesel turbos, we put coolant in it. So, yeah, I went for thermostat to open and that. I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna hear two step this bit. Two step it. I want this bitch up. This is what I need to get though. That oil pressure gauge and the tag. What y'all think? I think I need one of those. So, yeah, but this watching, just wanted to show y'all, you know, make it be at work. I be working and shit. This is one of the places that take all my time. You know, it is what it is. Life of a soldier. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Sorry if this wasn't a tech video. Y'all was probably expecting a tech integra video, but you know, like I said, I'm bringing different things to the channel. So, what was that? So anyway, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Salute. I'm gonna do a quick little street tune on this thing, you know what I'm saying? Just activated V Tech. No. What the fuck am I at? Just kidding, y'all. I'm just doing some troubleshooting. I heard, uh,